So today's video is going to be about peptide bond and phi and psi angles. So when a peptide bond is formed, what we require are two amino acids. And this is a single amino acid. A single amino acid has an alpha carbon. It has carbon prime. Two oxygen attached to the carbon prime. There is an amino group right over here. And the differentiating feature between different amino acids is the side chain R. So you can see there's a R group right over here. And in the second amino acid, this R group if the amino acid is of the same kind, the R groups are going to be same. But if the amino acid is some other, like if it's glycine or alanine, the R chain is going to be different, okay? So when we are forming a peptide bond, what happens is a water molecule is ejected out. And as a result, a peptide bond is formed between nitrogen and carbon, which is highlighted in green over here. One thing I want you to know about a peptide bond is that nitrogen has a lone pair of electrons and this will form a double bond. You can see another bond between nitrogen and carbon. And since carbon can form only four bonds, this bond right over here will go back to oxygen. As a result, nitrogen will have a positive charge while oxygen will have a negative charge. Now this peptide bond due to this resonance is not a single bond but rather it has a partial double bond character and due to this this makes the peptide bond stable and rigid and this cannot rotate a double and triple bond cannot rotate and hence they are rigid. Since peptide bond has partial double bond character, what will happen is this will become fixated in the 3D space, okay? We know that this right over here, nitrogen, is hydrogen is in over this side while oxygen is over this side, okay? So this is known as the trans configuration when two groups are on the opposite side, okay? So they say that peptide bond is fixed in 180 degree angle so you must be saying how is it 180 degrees how do you calculate it so these are known as dihedral angles a dihedral angle is an angle that is calculated between uh, four different atoms the atoms right over here are hydrogen nitrogen carbon and oxygen okay a uh, dihedral angle is between two planes so you can say that this is one plane while carbon and oxygen form the second plane and relative to these two planes we are calculating the angle let's visualize this this is the peptide bond okay so there's a nitrogen a carbon oxygen and hydrogen and when you see that in 3d this is what it's going to look like if you see this peptide bond and you shine light from the side its shadow is going to look like this now you can see that nitrogen and carbon form a single spot right over here, okay? While oxygen is over here and hydrogen is forming its shadow here. Now between these two arms, you can see that there's an angle of 180 degrees, okay? So that's why we say peptide bond has been fixed at 180 degrees since it's a double bond character, it cannot move and hence a trans configuration is fixed. Now, if in the 3 days you will, you know, kind of see it from the side, this is what it's going to look like in a single. And since that was the trans configuration, what happens in cis configuration is both the R or you can say the side chains, which is hydrogen and oxygen over here. Okay, what will happen is they may form steric hindrance with each other. Okay, since they are on the same side, they might interfere with each other's van der Waal forces and may resist being on the same side. And this is also the zero degree angle since we know the two arms are on the same side. Okay, right over here. So this is a zero degree angle. So cis configuration is not stable, but rather the trans configuration for the peptide bond is more stable. Another thing in dihedral angle is if this right over here is zero degree angle, and this is the 180 degree angle right over here. When you go back from this side onto this side, you don't say it's going to be a 360 angle over here. No, it's going to be zero degree angle over here again. And right when you turn from this side to this this is 180 degrees okay so this is zero here will be 90 degrees and 
this is right over here 180 degrees then there is minus 180 degrees and right over here is minus 90 degrees and then you turn the whole circle and go back to 0 degrees okay this is an important thing to remember because based on this we are going to form a plot which is known as a Ramachandran plot okay and in this plot what happens is uh, two different kinds of angles will be discussed where there will be 0 degree right over here 180 on this side similarly 180 degrees on this side and minus 180 will be written over here so don't confuse yourself with 360 and minus 180 minus 180 is when you turn the corner from here to here okay while there's no 360 only a 0 degree so 0 to 180 and then minus 180 to 0 degree okay so let's discuss omega phi and psi bonds okay so we know this is the peptide bond right over here and the peptide bond is also known as the omega bond okay and this is the sign for omega since peptide bond has partial double bond character it cannot rotate so omega bond cannot rotate and it is fixed in the 3d space this forms a single plane now since a double bond character it cannot rotate the single plane that is formed is that of six atoms the six atoms in it are first of all hydrogen which is number one nitrogen number two carbon prime number three oxygen number four and the alpha carbons on the side okay so these six atoms together make a fixed plane and when you look at the alpha carbons over here you can see that each alpha carbon is connected to a nitrogen and a carbon prime similarly this alpha carbon is connected to nitrogen and carbon prime right over here now these are the single bonds these are the single bonds so these can rotate we will give special names to these bonds because because of their rotation a uh, secondary structure of proteins are formed and they are important because they make the structure because they rotate and protein acquires it different conformations now a peptide bond is sandwiched between two bonds the bond between carbon alpha and carbon prime is known as the psi bond okay while the bond between carbon alpha and nitrogen is known as the phi bond also you can see that a carbon alpha is also sandwiched between the two bonds here is the phi bond which is between carbon alpha and nitrogen while psi bond is between carbon alpha and carbon prime so you can see that right over here is our immovable plane or you can see that this plane will move as a whole and it has the omega bond right over here on its side there's a phi bond which is between carbon alpha and nitrogen while over this side is the psi bond which is between carbon alpha and carbon prime okay so let's move on see how they rotate in the 3d space okay so in the 3d structure there are important things i want you to know beforehand the blue dots right over here are nitrogen okay the red dots are going to be oxygen the dotted lines show over here partial double bond character which is between peptide bond due to resonance and carbon alpha is highlighted with dark black color while carbon prime is highlighted with the gray color okay hydrogen are white over here okay so this is one amino acid this whole forms one amino acid okay it has carbon alpha it has carbon prime and nitrogen and this is our group over here now what is this R group this is a carbon with three hydrogen which means it's ch3 and the amino acid that has R group as ch3 is alanine so this is an alanine amino acid that is further attached to other amino acids and in this structure i'm going to show you the different planes that are formed between the six atoms the phi bond the psi bond and how their rotation affects the overall structure of the peptide or the protein okay so as you can see right over here we have these 3d structure and you can see that in this 3d structure we have a central amino acid which is the alanine over here if i highlight the alanine you can see that this has a side chain r of ch3 
and their central alpha carbon, carbon prime, and nitrogen. Okay, so I will uncheck adenine over here. Now, the peptide bonds over here are in pink. You can see between is this carbon prime and nitrogen, while over on this side, carbon prime and nitrogen. Okay, so two peptide bonds also. As I told you, a plane is formed because of these peptide bonds, okay? So, this plane consists of six atoms and here is that plane, okay? So, you can see that there are six atoms in this plane. The first atom, you can say right over here, carbon alpha, two carbon alphas and the atoms of a peptide bond which are four. So, six atoms make a single plane. Now, these two planes move as a whole okay so the bond between nitrogen and the carbon alpha is known as the phi bond which is highlighted in green over here okay so if i do this you can see this right over here is the phi bond while the psi bond is between carbon alpha and carbon prime okay and because the planes are fixed when you move them Let's say I move the phi bond first and let's say I see it from this side like this and it's currently moving and you can see that the whole plane moves when phi bond moves, okay? So this is how it's moving. Also, if I highlight the psi bond over here and move it, you can see it also moves the whole plane with it and only some values of phi and psi are feasible or allowed for a protein okay and this is because if i show do re the real size of these atoms it's going to be like this okay and at certain angle of phi and psi the atoms can collide with each other and this collision is known as a clash okay so i will show you a clash right over here and this highlighted region yellow is a clash okay so let's say i change the angle of psi and at certain angle you can see that the clash has disappeared while it appears at a certain angle again so we are always looking for a angle where the clash is minimum or zero and those are the allowed structures or allowed angles for phi and psi values. And based on these values of phi and psi, a plot is formed known as the Ramachandran plot. Okay, So in this plot, you can see that there the phi values are on the bottom. And these are from 0 to 180 degrees and 0 to minus 180 degrees. Similarly, the psi values are 0 to minus 180 and to 180 degrees. Okay. And there are four boxes right over here. The box, this box right over here is no proteins have values that lie in this box usually, okay? And the alpha helix structure, their values lie on these opposite boxes while the beta shades, their values lie in this box over here. So as a result, I visualized for you uh, the peptide bonds, I showed you the different planes, the carbon alpha, the carbon prime, how the peptide bonds are in pink, and the planes that are formed because of resonance between a peptide bond, how the phi and psi angles, they revolve, they rotate, okay, and give different structures and shapes to a protein. And a phi angle is between a nitrogen and carbon alpha, while psi bond is between a carbon alpha and carbon prime then there are van der Waal forces which are the actual sizes of the atoms and how at a certain angle of phi and psi a clash can form how there are certain values of phi and psi that can be for a protein so that there can be no clash between a protein and such that it is stable in that form so I hope you liked today's video. This right over here, the 3D structure I showed you, you can go and check it out yourself. I will put a link in the description. And I hope you got something useful from this video. And bye!